Are you guys all ready for the biggest spoiler alert of all time? Seriously, they spoiled the whole game in the title. Again! Alright, I really need a new shtick for this, because that's probably getting old. Mr. Firebird would come over this morning, so I could show him my history report. Don't do it, it's a trap! And my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Pupput admires Smokey so much, he actually made his own lunchbox off of it. That or Smokey is popular enough to have his own lunchbox made in mass production. You decide! What kind of a bone is that? That does not look like any bone that I am aware of. <laughs> it looked basically like a cardboard bone. Here's my coin! I better not leave home without it! Are you guys getting deja vu from Papa Joins the Parade? You start by picking up a coin? Also, yeah, Papa's house has changed. Now apparently he's really into baseball. And sports in general. Also... <gasps> yep, that's pretty impressive. It's Car Town News Update! A little later today, we're going to be chatting with Mr. Firebird about his new time portal. So dust off oh, your no. And stay tuned this afternoon. So this game basically takes place right after Papa goes to the moon, at least as a continuation of Mr. Firebird's evil deeds. We'll get more into that when we actually get there. But yeah, Papa is completely oblivious to the horror Mr. that awaits him. Mr. Firebird, a well-known tinkerer, thrilled <laughs> scientists around the globe with his announcement of a time portal device yesterday. Gee. That's my gas gauge. I sure like my new Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. I'll bet Mr. Firebird will too. I'm not sure if this is the same voice actor for Papa that was in uh, Saves the Zoo. Because he sounds a bit deeper in this one. I, I kind of like that. Everyone's burning rubber to make it down to Earl Shine's house of car paint. Just $49.95 buys you gallons of paint for that do-it-yourself paint job. Well, supplies left. All right. Hubcaps looking dingy? Are they losing nope. their shine? Well, Harvey's Hubcaps is the place to come for $10 hubcaps that make you look like a million bucks. Also, pup is is uh, like Lightning McQueen using white tires. Feeling Never really down, paid lately? attention to that. Running out of gas. Nope. Start your day off right with the winner's breakfast. Start your day off with tire O's. Tire O's are a winner's breakfast, really? That's my gas game. <laughs> Tired of guzzling the same dirty brown gas? <laughs> Switch to the new improved lean mean green gasoline. Available now in the gourmet section of your local gas station. <laughs> Yeah, the horn can make some weird faces. It's car town, you okay, on, Pat, that's enough that's for the radio. <laughs> it's a trap, Putt Putt, don't go! And now Putt Putt makes the cow move just by himself. He's really growing up, isn't he? Cow. Yes, that most certainly is a cow. <laughs> Fireworks factory! Are, it's Mr. Firebird's workshop. It's his laboratory. It says... Firebird's Lab. Fireworks Factory. Yeah, so Mr. Firebird is not only... Mr. Firebird's not only now trying to get pup to go away, he's also kind of out for revenge, because pup almost thwarted his plans last time. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. He's not your friend. Don't believe it. Although he has taken acting lessons Hi, in this Mr. one. Firebird. Welcome, butt -butt. Uh, don't trust that face. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Also, Mr. Firebird used the rocket that we took back from the moon in order to make this new dangerous invention. on my time portal. <laughs> wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! 
I don't think Lies. The is not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat. So there's no that's way to go fact, into it. I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll sure you. you were. Great. And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. I don't really care about that, Pud Pud. You're not gonna get the chance. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. So he uses hey, a washing machine to power it. See, so yeah, Mr. Firebird's a terrible person. Not only is he going to like unleash his time portal on us, but he's making us pay for him to do that. What a jerk. I can't wait to get a hold of that coin. I'll finally get to see if all my hard work has paid off. Yeah, indeed you will. Alright. <laughs> Also, the coin, Mr. Firebird. Pop Pop Saves the Zoo had like a few graphical ah, issues. This, is coin, this the designers definitely perfected the whole knowledge. like next part of the, the graphics, you know. The perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. So this is where his acting lessons really paid off. <laughs> Holy Gaston! This shouldn't be happening! Because he's actually not quite a- LOOK HE'S STILL SMILING! <laughs> However he failed, pup does not get sucked in. And now this is- he's actually legitimate right here. This is not good at all, Putt Putt! My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal! Don't worry, Mr. Firebird! I'll go in and find everything! Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. Alright, so for those of you who don't know what just happened there, basically, he said it was like a TV set, there was no way to go in it, but that's not how programming it works. There's no way it should be able to do that if he didn't intend it to. So that was a complete lie. However, he was not lying when he said he did not, uh, he could not shut the time portal until all the stuff was back. He did not plan on that, which is why his plan has failed, because otherwise, as soon as we go in here, he would have shut the portal and locked us in time. Yep, yeah, he's pretty evil. This is just my theory, though. A game you theory. Be careful, Putt Putt, and good luck! A meaningless gesture. Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Alright, so... I know both the Freddy Fish games have had branching paths, kind of, but this is the first game that's like, the game is significantly different, depending on where uh, your stuff is. So I actually will be covering this game multiple times, because the stuff that you have to find is in different enough places that I can't really just explain it, I kind of want to have to show it off. So I'll be playing for the first uh, one, maybe two playthroughs just by myself, then I'll probably get Marty for the other times. Just to uh, shake things up a bit. Also, uh, if you use the radio in here... It freaks out. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. Also, amazing musical number right here. Stop 
Yeah, I'd say that's one of the better musical numbers in the Humongous Entertainment. So we've got prehistoric times, medieval times, the Wild West, and the future. I'm going to go to dinosaur times first. Whoa! This must be the age of the dinosaurs! Yes, it must be. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. I can't go! There's something gigantic blocking the road! Also, yeah, one really cool thing about this game is for every time period, your radio changes. Welcome to Dino Radio! All oldies, all time! <laughs> okay, all you listeners! Let's have a big round of applause for Wheel! Wheel's Primordial Soup voted most tasty at annual Dino Days Fun Festival held last week on Big Rock! You have trouble making friend with T-Rex next door? When you wave hello, he growls and turns other cheek? Come to Patty Apatosaurus's lecture. It calls learning to live with T-Rex and love it. You be happy you did. Hey, dinos out there, you having a bad day? You worried about total extinction? Hey, cheer you up. Should. Next week is Dinosaur Dance, when you boogie to the beat of Dino Blasters. Nobody <laughs> but nobody can have bad day. But they, they're still the threat of extinction. Going on trip? Fly Pterodactyl Airlines. Leave the flapping to us. Yeah. Next week, Dr. Dino offering free dental care for all dinosaurs. Don't forget to brush and floss. Your pearly whites depend on it. <laughs> Welcome to Dino Radio. All right. Yeah, I'm impressed with the, all the stuff they did with the radio in this. <laughs> all right. Wowie zowie. It's a real live Brachiosaurus. Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? We're Putt Putt! I'm Putt Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. She's very friendly. Uh, Puppet Travels Through Time is a really Thanks good game. A lot, Ms. B. <laughs> I'd say it's third best in the Puppet series, which is saying something because I really like the Puppet series. No, it's I'm this or this and Puppet Saves. The the I keep calling it Puppet Saves the Moon. This and Puppet Goes to the Moon are also are pretty on par with each other. This one is probably a better game because it's got more uh, paths, but Papa uh, Goes to the Moon has really, really good graphics. This does too, though. Hello, I'm Crush Knight. Do you need some help? Yes, but first, you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! I love how everyone ex just accepts it immediately. Hey, just like, oh, you're from the future? Alright. Seriously, how did he even get across the tar pit in the first place? Full speed ahead. Oh. Don't drive into the tar. That was fantastic! Stupendous! You cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thank you. Uh oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry. Because I can't I jump or drive around it. I mean, Papa would have a hard time Looks getting like across. Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle. I'll keep an eye out for a round rock, then you can cross your bridge. Yeah, so that's one of the things, uh, the shape of the rock will be different every playthrough. It can be a circle, it can be a square, a triangle, uh, pentagon, you know, the works. Luckily for us, it's a circle, and the circle happens to be right next to Miss Brachiosaurus, right here. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle! Whoa! It's you can only carry one. one at a time. <laughs> Ha 
Are there sharks in the trees? That's pretty, pretty normal stuff. <laughs> Monkey on a skateboard. In prehistoric times, perfectly normal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What the heck? <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, it will. What do you know? It's pro gonna be a perfect fit. Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion punch! Well, I'm homeward down! Yeah, you are! Any old time you like! Alright! Man, we've made some pretty good progress in the dino area. I can't Okay. So, sometimes Pep can be over there, and then you'd have to cross him. But I'm not going to do that if I don't have to. Hello, Putt! Hello. Hello. That bird's not saying anything. Hello, Putt. What's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, but I haven't the <laughs> faintest idea what those things are. Yep. He doesn't know what a dog is. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup made of What's it? Dog? What's it made of, first sure, off? that would be great. It's green. That Welcome should be a red flag. Mmm. Primordial soup tastes terrific. Hey, this is really an interesting bowl. Basically made that myself, too. Basically. <laughs> I have another bowl. Gee, thanks, Will. Oh, Alright, I think I know where the lunchbox is, then. Yes, yeah, so sometimes you'll take the bowl with you, and if so, your lunchbox is in the future. Otherwise, you won't take the bowl with you. Okay. Well then, I know <laughs> what's in the past. Each of your stuff will be in one of the different time portals, so... Yep, that dinosaur's staining on my history report. It's my history report. I think I better get that triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a triceratops and his dinner. <laughs> but they're plant eaters. Excuse me, Mr. Triceratops. I think that's my history report you're standing on. Would you mind moving? He's, yeah, actually I would. I don't think that Triceratops noticed me at all. He's much too good to eat. That guy, my friend, is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes in nothing flat. <laughs> By the way, let me introduce myself. My name's Comp, short for Compagnathus. As you may have guessed, that's my buddy, Triceratops. Yep. Glad to meet you. My name is... Is his name Sarah for short? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, we might as well explore the rest of the area. I forgot Papa this, uh, Travels Through Time actually has quite a few mini-games. Like, there's that one of the yellow dinosaur over there, we didn't actually play it. Then there's this. Hi, Mr. Bird. Wanna play Follow the Volcano? Sure, let's show it off. Here you go, see if you can match this one. Now yep. <laughs> All right, you get the idea. If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing arrow. Nope. Okay, here's a really tough level. We'll see about that. Show off the yellow and red ones.
Bam. You get the idea. It's basically like Remember. Or like the memory games. Yeah, you know, you know. I hope. Whoa! Ant roller coaster. That's pretty awesome. Ugh. Alright, I should probably show off the uh, yellow dinosaur game. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, hell. It's a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. Is he supposed I to be a T-Rex? I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> yes, we promise. Of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. What's up Say, with the blocks, dude? You want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Yeah. Sure, that sounds like fun. <laughs> nice going, bird. Well, Dane, that's pretty much already in order. So, uh, which one's fun? So basically, you click on a uh, block and he'll move it to the empty space. Let's move that one. Oh, man, he is strong. Uh, there. That's a good workout for him. I like pushing escape to make it easier. Alright! We made the picture. Yeah, we did. I sure so it's a pretty simple game. Those rocks. <laughs> Puppet's pretty easily amused. Yeah, he is a T-Rex. I like how they made him like a scaredy cat. <laughs> Alright, we've had enough of the past. Let's go a little bit fervor in the past. Medieval times! We're not gonna get far in the medieval times without going to the western area. I must be in the medieval times. I love the music here. Then again, medieval times have always fascinated me. And there's your square rock. Excuse me, do you need some help? Ma, you are certainly the fancy carriage. <laughs> I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt Putt. I'm Ooh. Princess Chassie. And this very nice is my princess. best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could. Then I hit a bump, and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Oh well, maybe man! Maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt Putt. Here, no, we can I just throw it on. Do I don't know. Okay. I please. love the yeah, music in this area. Play. It's so good. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. Sounds like a plan. Pleasure. Pull him back and slap. Oh my goodness gracious sakes! Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time, and I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye. Most likely, we'll probably see you on the uh, next screen. As a matter of fact. Because, here's the problem. Ooh, yeah! It's castle music! Wow, this is some castle! Yes, it is! Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work! That would be Yes, we can. We're, we'll just have to go into the future to the wild, wild west! Yeehaw! I'm gonna pretend that that I never said that. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. As awesome as the music in the medieval era is, we need to be going. Wild West. There's your triangle rock. Zowie, it's the old west. It says. 
entire flat. Why? How come there are always cow skulls in the desert? Hey, all you bucks and buckaroos. You're all listening to KTFR, Tire Flats Radio. KTFR, I'm fit to be tied. There's no better station, says me, Virgil Clyde. Gold's been reported seen in them mire hills and rivers of Tire Flats. Of course, this account came from Silverado Sam, who's been panning the river for six to seven years now. <laughs> he ain't struck gold but once. <laughs> Hey, TFR, I'm fit to be tied at my station of choice. KTFR, of course. This is a KTFR news update. Coyote tracks was seen on the west end of Tire Flats. So <laughs> the train's very uh, unamused. Your chili off your campfire. You know how coyotes go hog wild for chili. I do not. KTFR, okay, Dane, that horse keeps singing. How do I know it's a horse? Cause it's this guy. <laughs> Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town. Far in the future. Not that far. Well, dang a lang a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Everyone Virgil believes you. Clyde. Oh, Virgil Clyde, alright. We at need that some hay. Huge pile of hay. Hay is usually for horses, but if <laughs> you, help yourself. Thanks. It might come in handy. You never know. I do know. I already have a fiendish plan on how to use it. Also, I'd like that rope, please. Oh, no. This might come in handy. Get ready for rodeo days here in Tire Flats. <laughs> yeah. Flats up and get a turn helping Virgil Clyde to lasso Groundhog. Dane, what's with Virgil Clyde dominating the radio station? Hey, all you bucks and buckaroo, get ready for rope for KTFR <laughs> I go. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, you guys don't have to sell newspapers. No, oh, no, they of course they wouldn't. Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, no I'm not. we're not. I'm Putt Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. And sure by that we mean have. Mr. The Firebird what can forced I do for us you? to go back. I'd like to look around. If you don't mind, not a bit, not at all. Ooh, I thought there were gonna be red all overalls that would come on him. <laughs> Pajama Sam. Well, shoot him up. Okay, it's just Pajama Sam. It says chewy fruity wagon wheels. They're twenty-five cents. Actually, no, they're five cents. Inflation, I'm sorry. Let's go to the train station. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Sounds Your good. Interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? That's For a... starters, <laughs> you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. That's very Let's descriptive. Here you go, Toby. A little on the wheels will do nicely. I'm used to oil being or or black. Tobias T train. He goes by Toby though. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. Do you happen to know Thomas? A thanks. He's a tank engine like you. Welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's We're Putt Putt. Putt. Well, Putt Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. So how does the pay work? Is it like you give it to me wherever you feel like it? And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. There. That's gonna be hard because I exist in a different time period than you. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for right. the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water Well, tank. yeah, you don't have, have the little uh, antenna work. like I do. Finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up. I'll well, I, I, do that. I just so happens I stole a rope Toby, from a horse. I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. 
I thought you'd be the kind of cow poke who'd be handy with a rope trick. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, it's already lassoed for me. Thanks, Virgil. Uh, my rope. Now I'm officially in business, thanks to Bam. you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. All right. Well, it's either my calculator or Pep is in here. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take? Gold, Gold River? Gold River, here we come. Yeehaw, that's the prospector, a.k.a. Stinky Excuse Pete. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm headed for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that say? You want to know if I'm so cold I shiver? Nope. Nah, not me. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. That's because he didn't. He's too busy trying to find non-existent gold. Alright, uh... Hubcap Hill. I don't want to go to the desert until I'm sure Pep is there. Alright, Pep's in the desert. Gotta find him. All aboard for the old rock mine! Ooh, this means my calculator's in medieval times. Desert. Hot and dry. It's, it's the, the desert. desert. I love this music. Would you look at that? Animal tracks. I'll bet Pep is here somewhere. Yep. All right. So we've got big paw tracks, little paw tracks, and then claw marks. Follow the tracks to find the various animals. Seriously, this music is really good. All right. All right. Simple guitar song, but it is really good. Dane! How far away is this thing? It's an armadillo! Hey! You're kinda cute for such a funny looking guy, aren't you, boy? The armadillo has a tough leather skin that acts like armor, protecting its body. Yep. I've never actually seen an armadillo in real life. Partly because I live in the Midwest, but... <laughs> There's Pep. Pep, I found you. Pep had the and tiniest I tracks. I'm glad to see you. Now come on, boy. You're probably dehydrated. I've got some primordial soup if you want to drink it. Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox, my calculator, and, and my Smokey the Fire Engine report. So Mr. Oh, yeah. Firebird can close my Smokey, <laughs> my Smokey the Fire Engine history report. He'd probably get an A-plus with how popular Smokey is. Now, there's still the other tracks that I want to find. Aww! Wowie, mountain Lion! A real mountain lion! He's cute! Hmm. Yep, okay. He's also dangerous, so if you see a mountain lion, you're probably best to run as fast as you can. 